Lun is back at number 26. Alexa's 27. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, even though she did throw out Nia Jax and everything, it's like now that we're like way past that thing, that story makes no sense. You don't say. No. I mean, it's like she had to at some point, I don't know, whatever. It's, it's, but she did eliminate Nia Jax, so. So Nia Jax will probably be putting her through tables the next nine weeks. Yes. So Alexa is doing her 12-year-old gimmick, and uh, everybody gangs up on her. The lights go out. She's about to transform into the female fiend, but Rhea just grabs her and tosses her ass out of the ring, and she's eliminated. Thank God. That was a fantastic spot. Yeah, because if she had turned into the fiend and, like, Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley started selling for her, it would have, like, ruined the entire match. We had Ember Moon, 28, Nia Jax, 29. This is where Nia got... Not Nia Jax, Tamina. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're yeah, right. It's Nia. Right. It's Nia. Nia. Yeah. So... When, yeah, they and they had that, that little thing with... um, Where we're, we're cousins, and then they turned on each other. Yeah, that was quick. So Nia tossed Shayna, and Lana attacks Nia, low bridges, and eliminates Nia Jax. And finally, the big number 30 is Natty... Well, we knew that going in because they had explained. By the way, Vince, for whatever reason, okay, the, you know, they did the thing. I, I, You know, like they did the thing on the show Saturday night where they announced that Edge and Randy Orton were one and two. And, in fact, when they announced that Randy Orton was number one and Edge was number two, but then tonight it was reversed. But it's still the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. But, um, well, we'll get to this, the other thing later. But the, um, the other thing was that um, they were going to announce – number 30 for the men and the women originally and then for whatever reason that was vince's idea for well, I, I think i think it was originally they were only going to do number one and number two women and number 30 man and they literally did the exact opposite well they were going to do the number 30 for both men and women on the show at one point and then for whatever reason they didn't they never announced this but that was the plan because um, I have no idea why you would announce number 30. Like, I can totally get announcing one and two, especially when it's Randy Orton and Edge. I mean, I totally get that. But why would you announce number 30? I mean, that just, that just doesn't make any sense because now everyone knows Natalia's number 30. She comes out number 30, and it's just like, well, we know that. It's like, I don't. I, I would think that if there's any number you wanted to keep a surprise, it's it's number 30. Well, it came down to Rhea, Lana, Natty, Bianca, and Charlotte. Natty pretends to reunite with Lana, but then tosses her. Bianca tosses Natty. So it's Charlotte, Rhea, and Bianca. Bianca and Rhea team up. They toss Charlotte out. Charlotte responds by laughing. Why was she yeah. laughing after being eliminated from the Royal Rumble? I don't know. Okay. Well, they go back and forth and... The last few minutes with Bianca and Rhea were awesome. And finally, Bianca tosses her over the top. Bianca wins the Royal Rumble. She cuts the best babyface promo after the bat. She's in tears, talking about her family and overcoming. It was the greatest. And I thought this was awesome. It should, literally, it should have come down to only two people, Rhea Ripley or Bianca Belair. And yep, Bianca agreed. won... Rhea's the one that did the most eliminations. They're probably going to do Rhea and Charlotte at Mania, I would guess. And I just thought this was an awesome finish. Rhea and Charlotte? I'm pretty sure they'll do Charlotte and Lacey Evans. I guess they could do Charlotte and Lacey Evans. They, you know, I mean, there's two more pay-per-views, so they could do it before that. I mean, who knows? But I just felt, I thought Charlotte and Lacey Evans were building for Mania. And um, I don't know which one um, that uh, Bianca Belair is going to wrestle. I mean, it'd be Oscar or Sasha Banks, but I would think it's going to be Sasha Banks. They'll probably have a really good match, too. I mean, Sasha Banks is a hell of a worker, so, um, and I think that they could work, you know, a, a very strong match. And she needs, I think Bianca Belair needs the strong match. She's still not right there as a, she's there as an, obviously as an athlete. She might be the best athlete that they've got um, in the women's division, but. She might be. There's I don't, a, there's I don't think good, it's close. You think? Let's see. Um, there's a... Well, as far as like on the main roster, she probably is. Well, she is the best athlete on the main roster. But in developmental, there's probably athletes of her caliber. Um, I know that the 
the one woman who played for the Seattle uh, NBA WNBA team was probably a better athlete than her for sure. Um, but she hasn't, you know, she hasn't been on TV yet. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.